I'm Tara Lynn Wagner. Applying for a job can be stressful, time-consuming, and often frustrating. The candidate experience is horrible. 60% of job seekers have had a bad candidate experience. For one thing, Dan Chauvel of Future Workforce says candidates devote a lot of time to each application, only to often be met by total silence. The companies are just not responding to these job seekers, so they're left in the dark. And job seekers spend hours, three to four hours, on each application. They also spend a lot of time interviewing, with often no follow-up if they aren't hired. I have one friend, she spent months applying for a job at a big company with several interviews, about eight rounds. And then she never even heard back if she got the job or not. So of course she's going to tell her friends not to apply for that company to have the same experience. And not just a few friends. Their recent survey found 70% of those who had a negative experience shared their story online or on social media, where it becomes part of an employer's permanent record. And that can really damage the brand from a consumer and a workplace standpoint. What's more, he says job seekers have long memories. Because you gave them a bad experience, based on our research, they'll never apply for a job at your company again and so you lose out on that talent. The good news, he says, is many companies are now investing money to improve the candidate experience. His advice? Look beyond the resume and view the candidates as people. Also use automation not just to screen applicants, but communicate with them as well. And part of the automation now and in the future should be them automatically notifying through email of where the application stands. And it's very simple, but it can be very effective. For Money Matters, Tara Lynn Wagner, New York.